Hi everyone, welcome back to My Creative Ego. So today we are TM Holland. So as you all know, there is a lot of memory keepers. We are memory keeper punch boards. And I kind of realized that because of all the really great sales that I found this year, that I actually have quite a few of these. So as you can see, there are so many stars in my collection and I'll leave that information in the description box down below if you wanna see the projects that I made with these other products. So let's go ahead and get started with today's haul. The first thing I picked up were these wire clippers for $2.99. Why? Because every crafter needs a good pair of wire clippers for all those Project Impossibles. This can also be used with your cinch products. And speaking of cinch, it was a cinch to make these envelopes with my new mini envelope punch board. And as you can tell, I was saying that super slow because I was trying to remember what the product was called. Okay, so we have mini envelope punch board. And as you can see, on the back of the product, they made it into envelopes for their planner to make cards. And apparently they're stuffing pearl necklaces in these little envelopes as well. Huh? So I just made a few gift card holders with mine. So on the front, I stamped some images out and also the sentiment that says, you are God's created beauty. And on the back, that's where I plan on putting a gift card. So this one also says, he made you flawless. My mom is not a paper crafter, but doesn't she have such good taste when it comes to stamps? Oh my gosh, I love this set, it's so pretty. They also had this set of washi tape, comes with five different washi. It comes with 19 yards total, and this was $4.99. And going back to the punch board, so you get the punch board, you get the little scoring tool, and then it also comes with the instructions. So the instructions also give you a set for centimeters, but on the actual scoreboard itself, that's in inches. And then it also comes with the directions on the back of this. So like I said, this is going to be really great, especially for your scrap paper and scrap card stock, because there's a lot of different sizes that you can start off with to build your envelopes. And again, the directions that they give you allows you to make 18 different sizes envelopes but you're not restricted to just the measurements they give you you can actually make other envelopes using your own different types of measurements as well so the board itself super super simple to use so you basically choose what size envelope you want and then you're gonna choose the paper it'll tell you what type of paper what size paper you need I'm gonna be using a five and a half by five and a half inch paper and then it tells you where you need to score and then actually where you need to align it, punch, score, align, punch, score, align, punch, score. That's basically what you're doing. And then you just finish it off by scoring the edges, folding it and gluing it, and then you have your envelope. And of course, the fun part, which is decorating. Rewind, I forgot to tell you that the other side of the punch apparatus actually allows you to round off your corner. So you always have that option as well. And then you can fold up your envelope and decorate it. So you can decorate it any way that you want, but on these kanji characters, I also picked this up from Tuesday morning, and this says faith, hope, and love. And this was $1.99. I'm also gonna use this stamp in one of my projects for around five, I think, of my Hobby Lobby haul, so stay tuned for that one. And going back to more, we are Memory Keepers products. This is a mini scoreboard. I actually bought another mini scoreboard, but I can't find it in my beautiful craft room right now, which is probably why I picked up another one. So on the front, you have your scoreboard, and then on the back, you can actually create envelopes. A nice thing about this, again, is it has the directions on the board. It also has all the measurements you need to create your envelopes. You are gonna actually have to cut out the notches with your scissors so you can fold up your envelope. And then they also do have some design patterns on here, and I probably should have tested this out. I do have an embossing tool, one of those old school embossing tools. So when I find that embossing tool, I'll test it out and I will update you guys on my next Tuesday morning haul video. So this is yet another way to make mini envelopes. 
Next up, we have these embossing folders, which have the Once Upon a Time theme with the Princess theme. And I really do love all these Cartabella Echo Park embossing folders. I am just collecting them as fast as I can find them in my store. Getting back to the haul, I picked up this beautiful set of watercolors. So you get 18 pieces for $4.99. And of course, since these are in the little tubes, in order to open them, you have to just take the cap off and then turn it around and kind of pierce that tube. So that allows you to get all of your watercolor ink out of there. Um, but I will say that even when you're not pressing hard on this, it just kind of tends to gush out. So if you are near carpet or you are near an area where you don't want to stain it, I would highly recommend covering up your work surface like I did here. So I'm gonna swatch out all the different colors as you can see here and I am diluting it with a little bit of water because they are watercolor paints. And I do really love the colors, they're very vibrant. And as you can tell, I'm also gonna try a little bit of blending. So with the black and the white, that makes gray. So it's really great for that as well. And as you can tell, I do have a little ice tray on the bottom. And I just actually used this to put all the caps in earlier because I didn't have time to wash it out right away and I didn't want it drying out. And yes, so let's paint a little bit. So on this first one, I'm actually taking some watercolor paper, which I think is probably a cheap watercolor paper because as you can see, it started making all those eraser marks later on in the game as I put too much water on it. So I brushed it with water first and then I added on all of my watercolor paint. <laughs> favorite way of using this ink is actually directly from the tube. And so I'm just taking a lot of the different shades of blue, layering that onto the paper, and then I'm just gonna take a little bit of water, not too heavy on the water, and I'm just going to kind of brush that along. I was using a wide brush, and it's really nice because you can actually see all the brush strokes that you make on the page. And so this is what I made. I don't know why I kind of flickered it with the white paint. I probably should have left it alone because it really did look a lot like water. So I am gonna make another water scene because I wanna showcase two other stamps that I picked up from Tuesday morning. So as you can see here, this one is a lot more watered down than the previous one. I use this particular stamp from Stampendous, which I picked up from Tuesday morning. So this one has the palm trees, the little sun, and the little fairy in the hammock. This is another stamp set from Stampendous. This one says, near the sea, we forget to count the days. And then I just use this as my painter's palette, but I didn't want to just throw it away. So I decided to kind of like practice a little more on my painting. I like all the effects and I'm actually holding this up against um, a lamp. So that's why it looks really, really bright and vibrant, but it's actually pretty dark. So I was thinking it kind of reminds me of like the dinosaur era. <laughs> Um, what else? Um, so I actually went to Tuesday morning on a Saturday, but I do know that they had their weekend ad for Sunday. So Sunday they had a lot of the punch board items. I did pick up the planner punch board from Hobby Lobby, but I wasn't sure if any of the Tuesday mornings were carrying like the extra refills for it um, or the extra punchers for it. So if anyone knows, please let me know as well in the comments down below. And then they also showed these paper pads. So I don't have the SKU number for these ones, but these are, well, they look like the exact same pads that are on the flyer. So I bought these from Target. 
So I figured I'd share that with you guys as well. So this is what each pad comes with. And if you picked it up and would like to leave the SKU number in the comments down below, that would also be helpful. What else? Oh, okay, so these are the things that I saw in the store. I didn't buy them because I wanted to ask some questions, but I don't really think they knew the answers to it at the store. <laughs> so I was wondering on this particular one, if any of you have it, does this actually come out as a gold? Because I was looking at the tub, it kind of looked like a taupe or brownish type paste. So if anyone has tried this, if you can please let me know in the comments down below. I was working on a project and I bought some acrylic paint that was gold, but it didn't really show up as gold. And so I kind of had to scrap that project. So before I buy any other gold paint, I just want to make sure it has that, you know, that like true gold tone to it. Um, and then I also found this one, which I think is kind of similar, but yet again, I have not tried this one. So I was also trying to find a lot of these Sheena or Crafter Companion dies. I saw on Grace's channel, Gracie21, I actually watched it on Friday morning as I was fixing up and I was like, I gotta go to Tuesday morning. But I couldn't get there on Friday, so I ended up going on Saturday. But the only thing I found was this one. So I don't really do much steampunk type um, projects, but if you are interested, they do have this particular one there at the store as well. And that's going to do it for today's video. I thank you guys so much for watching, and if you haven't already and you enjoy my Tuesday morning hauls, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be notified with all of my new haul videos and projects, of course. And thank you again, everyone. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I hope that this video is able to start your week off with a few laughs. Hi! <laughs>